What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So in today's video, I want to talk about something that every Dokkan player should be familiar with, rotations. Now, if you're a more seasoned player with many months or years under your belt, then you probably already know everything that I'm about to talk about. However, it was recently brought to my attention that a good chunk of the community is still unaware of how rotations work. The main issue is that rotations aren't really covered in the tutorial when you first start the game, so the only way you can really find out about it is through word of mouth or just randomly figuring it out on your own. Either way, I think it's incredibly important for everyone to be well informed on this topic as it can drastically impact how well you play the game. Without further ado, Let's jump right into it. As you can see, I'm currently running my Fusions team on the Android 17 event. Keep in mind that when you start a stage, the order of your units are randomized. It then becomes your job to set up your rotation so that the best linking partners on your team are linked together. This will allow you to get the most damage out of your team and run it as effectively as possible. So in this first rotation, we have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Int Gogeta, and Physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. For the sake of simplicity, let's call the spot that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is in slot 1, this is slot 2, and we'll call this one slot 3. Slot 1 and slot 2 are considered the main rotation slots. The characters that are in these two slots will stay together and come back every other turn. Slot 3, which Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is currently in, is the floater slot. The character in this slot will come back every third turn, so they won't stay linked to anyone. The floater slot is typically reserved for support units or your weaker units since you want to keep your top damage dealers in the main rotation. When it comes to this current rotation, these three guys actually all link up very well. But for the team overall, the best rotations are Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta plus Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks as one pair and LR Gogeta plus Int Gogeta as the other pair. The rest of the units on this team will be floaters. With this setup, I can get the most damage possible out of my team. So for that reason, I'm going to move Super 3 Gotenks out of the floor slot and into one of the main rotation slots. Now that we've done that, he will remain linked with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and they will return together every other turn. Ink Gogeta will now come back in 3 turns, at which point I will link him up with LR Gogeta. So let's give these guys some orbs and move on to the next turn. Now for this second rotation, what I do doesn't really matter too much as long as I keep at least one of the LR Gogetas in rotation. This is so that when Int Gogeta returns in two turns, this LR Gogeta I kept in rotation will also return and I can link them up at that point. Now we're on the third turn and as promised, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks have returned and are linked together. I just have to make sure to move the Super Saiyan Gotenks into the floater slot so that the pair can stay in the main rotation. Here we go. While Super Saiyan Gotenks is a very good unit that can deal his fair share of damage, he doesn't hit nearly as hard as Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, which is why I put him in the floater slot and he'll come back in 3 turns. Now for turn 4, as you can see, Int Gogeta, who was in the floater slot on the first turn, has now come back 3 turns later. The LR Gogeta I kept in the main rotation 2 turns ago is also back. At this point, I can link them up and my rotations will be complete. So I can actually keep what's going on over here and just give them some orbs and I'll be good to go. For the rest of the stage, I'll be able to use my rotations of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta plus Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and LR Gogeta plus Int Gogeta on alternating turns unless I decide to break them up. And that's gonna do it for the tutorial. I try to be as clear as possible in my explanations, but if you're still confused about anything, then feel free to let me know in the comments down below and I'll try my best to help you out. As always, if you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me and you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, also hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all from me. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. This was Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.